Hello everyone, um, I'm about to start another piece of artwork. Now, what the surface I'm working on is actually a, it's like a floor tile, if you can see. So I just I put some painting tape on the back. See, it's a tile, it's just a ceramic, white ceramic tile. Alright, now I've mixed up all my colours, so I'm using art resin. And I always use art resin for my base layer because it flows beautifully and uh, the colours merge and respond beautifully within in the resin. So I want it to move, so that's why I use art resin. So I'm going to create a ground and I'm going to place the colours in on in pools. So I'm starting with some white. Very bright. It's almost sort of 1960s psychedelic. <laughs> but that looks great. So there's a great, there's a lot of really nice silvery lacing going on there. That's nice. And good contrast. The key to a really successful painting, I've probably said this before is contrast. So really good contrast between your lights and your darks. So there's a good contrast in this. And of course my flowers will be like a second layer will be up here. So there's a like a really nice balance of space. So that's my negative space there. And I think that's going to be quite spectacular. Okay, it's the next day and uh, this layer has, has cured. Now I've mixed up the same colours again but I've done a little bit of mixing of colours and adding white to some of them because I, need, I want to lighten this a little bit with another pool here and the flower here. So I've just, I've just changed the colour scheme a little bit just by lightening and mixing some colours together. Alright, so I'm just going to do my flower and my, I'm going to do another small pool here. So I'll just change the colour.
Okay, now I'm just using really tiny weeny bits with on a toothpick. little spoonful So that was pooling lots of colours in a central from a, or one on top of another and then I made up a tiny dirty paw and it, well it was really like a ribbon, ribbon paw and then the, I just poured the ribbon around the edge of that pool and then put some resi blast around sort of around the edge of the darkest part so that it will come in and sometimes with lines sometimes just with dots So it actually gives quite an interesting effect. Look at that. That looks like an eye. It will continue to move a little, but it's going very stiff. Quite, it's curing very quickly um, because it has pigment in it and. It's also, um, it's not a hot day, so it cures much quicker. So I'm about to do some handwork on my purple passion flower. And these are the paints I'm going to use. They're just acrylic paints. I like the thick structure of paints because um, the, the paint goes on quite really well and sticks well to the resin. 
I will, though, however, do a very fine sanding on top of the flowers where I'm going to do the handwork. So I just get a very fine piece of sandpaper, a small piece of sandpaper, very fine, 200 grit. Now you need, because there was resi blast all over this, I actually need to get rid of that first. So I'm just using some alcohol. I'm just rubbing it back to make sure I get rid of any any resi blast that's still there because that will resist the paint and um, make it difficult to paint paint over them. So I'm just going to rub it really well. So when I first start, so I've, I've got to work out, you know, which is the center, where's the center part of the flower, um, where I'm going to bring the pe petals to. Am I going to have to alter this um, to make it convincing? Now, the center part of the flower really would be more, more over here. So I could still do that. It means altering this quite a bit here because this is... Um, quite silver, but I think I will um, because I do want this to look real. So just with a brush, because there's already red, uh, sorry, black, sort of black lines in there. So I'm just going to really virtually draw what I'm going to do here. Which way I'm going to do, just to give me a bit of direction. Right, I've finished all the handwork on it, on the flowers, to show you. This is that quite a complex colour scheme I've done here, with purples and oranges. But that's what was already there, I've just really picked it out. And this is like a blue, a blue flower with its petals. 
opening up and you're seeing more in the centre. And I didn't I didn't need to do any work on any of those ones in the swirl and colours beneath. I did do some work on this one because I decided it was dark. All I need to do now is some small pools of clear resin and finish the edges. Yeah. If you can see I've just put a, a pool of clear resin and if you can see it's just it's just short of going over the edge. And then I'm going to give it a bit of a blast with the heat torch. Just making sure, make sure that all the handwork is, that I've done is covered. And it should move out a tiny bit more, which is, is what I want, is I want it to curl, like curl over the edges, if possible. But I'm using um, Mastercast resin because it's a bit thicker than art resin. Um, I, I like using art resin for the last layer, but, <coughs> but it's uh, too thin for this particular technique. So, if something like this happens where the resin, that clear bit of resin rolls over the edge there, I just get a little, oops, a little bit of um, acetone and just run around the edge there and just pull it off. Okay, my painting Purple Passion has now finished and I have mounted it onto a piece of MDF board which has been, the sides have been smoothed and rounded and I've painted it with a, a base paint and then a, a good quality high gloss white. So it's, it's, it's like a mount and on the back I have got some, um, if you can see on the back, I've just put some across bits of wood so that when this sits on the wall, it will sit away from the wall and hang nice, nicely with a bit of a shadow under it. So just to repeat the nice sense of three dimension of layers, so there's the edge and then the edge of the tile and the edges of the different layers of resin. So it's, it's got a nice finish. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you like it and thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.